Cut of Duty, fellas, is your whole super poopy. And the quarantine has not been too kind to us. We've been exhausting shit. No one's going out of control. And about about three rounds. Good, good shit, good shit. One at 45 ACP. I don't even own shit at 45 ACP. And I tell you what, we got a whole peanut. So that's lovely. Other than that, it's all good. Now I'm just fucking with y'all, but uh, this is what we're really gonna do. We're gonna look into the M9 Beretta and disassembling it. How quick we could do it, and how good we could do it, and how, yeah. Anyways, it's right here. Oh shit, my bad. Didn't mean to show you guys my ginormous cock, but what we're gonna do is time ourselves, and uh, we're gonna see how quick we could disassemble and assemble, because, you know, they do that in the military for a reason, so, you know. Alrighty guys, so this is what we're going to use to time. We're going to take this gun apart. Obviously, we're going to remove the hollow points. The mag is empty, no mag. Uh, chamber is clear. Nothing in the chamber, alright? We're doing this all safe. Now, let me just take off this gear. Uh, yeah, I really just did it for the stupid joke, alright? But just just remember that behind every shitty joke is, is someone trying to make you smile. Alright? Alright, sorry y'all, I went to go get a drink so it's a bit darker, so forgive the lighting, but anyways, yeah, I already removed all the rounds, these are hollow points, so, you know, if you're trying to fuck someone up without trying to kill the person behind them, get some of these, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now, we can't afford to do ballistic tests, but, you know, if you're an asshole and you want to break into my house, please do, I will mag them, I won't even call 911, I will document it, and then tell the cops to pick up your body or some shit, nah, I'm just fucking with y'all, chill, don't break into my house, alright? These, these hollow points are expensive, I don't want to waste them on on a, on a hater or some shit <laughs> but anyways let's get right into the point as you can see the magazine is empty very lovely now this chamber is it clear it is clear but you should always make sure see no bullet in there very lovely now we're just gonna go through it real quick on how to take it apart now what you want to do is press this button on the side once you're pressing it you want to click this here you see what I'm saying? You pushed it down while simultaneously pressing the button. That will allow you to pull down the slide. Very lovely. Now you got this free piece right here. You could clean it or oil it or do whatever the hell you want with it. I don't know. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah. Anyways, now you're going to be seeing a, a, a spring right here. You know what I'm saying? With a little tab thing. Now you want to be careful with this, all right? Because this thing, if you pull it out just like that, it will fling off. It'll just shoot someone and kill someone. No, I'm just kidding. It won't kill them. But what you want to do is slightly push it in slowly and see that? It even pushed my fingers. Now you want to pull it out and ka-chow. You got two pieces right here. Now once you do that, you got just the barrel and the slide. Very lovely. Now you want to just slowly push in the barrel and ka-chow. You got the barrel. Look at that. Very lovely. Now you can look down the barrel safely and legally without uh, about you know without committing suicide or some shit. You know doing something crazy. Uh, you know how crazy people are. You can't look down the barrel even though there's no way this gun can fire. Of course, be very responsible and uh, careful when handling firearms at all times. So yeah, you got access to all the kind of stuff. You got the hammer there. Very lovely. Now you can clean it or do whatever you want with it. Or even customize it if you want to paint it or do some gay shit like in Call of Duty. Alright, so once you dip your thing, whether it's oil it, paint it, or whatever the hell you do with it, it's fucking deep, man. Uh, you want to put the barrel in the big hole. Obviously, it's not going to fit in the little hole because, I mean, come on fucking logic you know what i'm saying you ever seen a black dude with an agent <laughs> i'm just fucking with you chill chill it's just a fucking joke and you want to put this spring inside the little piece of plastic goes inside the spring you could also replace it with a laser thing i've seen how they work it's pretty interesting and you want to lean it on this piece of metal right here it looks like it's just balancing and it shouldn't be like that but that's really how it goes that's just how berettas work very very lovely you know what i'm saying very unique gun uh now you want to see these grooves right here and look into these grooves and just match them in there real nice very lovely now you want to rack that slide and you want to push this up all right see while I put up the slide all the way back, I pushed this up so it could hold it. Now what you want to do is push this up and it is in place. If you do not do that and you release the slide, the slide will just shoot off forward and it's not going to be a good day. Now you can shut the slide. Ka-chow, you are ready to go. Uh, whether the safety is on or off, I would recommend having the safety on. And you insert your magazine. Now also we're going to try it. Uh, just make sure that the gun works uh, perfectly. I did everything right So we're gonna put some of these uh, dummy rounds into the magazine make sure everything's okay All right, so I'm starting the dummy rounds into the magazine Just to make sure it works. There you go Sometimes it can be a little bit of pain in the finger Especially with someone who wears gloves all the time even during the summer because I do have a history of OCD now Let's make sure this slide works. Ka-chow. Look. 
It's in the chamber. Very lovely. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, butter smooth. Love it. Oh, I kind of hesitated on that, but it gets stuck, obviously, to let you know that you're out of rounds. Because it will slide down, you're going to keep on shooting, and, well, no bullets are going to come out, obviously. So the magazine's empty, chamber's clear, very lovely. If you want to make sure you're too insecure, that the chamber could possibly not be insecure, uh, yeah, whatever, you get the point. Look at the demonstration, I'm having a fucking stroke right now. But, yeah, uh, right, slide down, safety on, and it looks like your gun is good to go. Okay, so I decided to make quick changes. Uh, I'm, instead of just taking it apart and calling it time, I'm going to put it back together. So we're going to get both times in one. In and out, quick, real easy. Let's do this. There you go. Okay. Nice and easy. This is a tricky part. Oh, I'm not used to that direction. Alright, back together, back together. There you go, around the hole. Very lovely. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I'm fast. I bet I bet you're not this fast, huh? I, I bet I bet I'm faster than most Navy SEALs. Look at that. 32 seconds. 32 seconds point eighty-nine. That's uh that's not bad for the first times I was doing. Alright, let's try it again. And it sucks because a lot of uh, uh, military branches are getting rid of the M9 Beretta, but you'll still see a lot of MPs uh, using it. And I know that because a lot of my homies are actually MPs in uh, the military, such as the Air Force. And I think I have a, was it Army? I don't remember what branch, but I know for sure the Air Force is still using Berettas. All right, let's get right into it. There you go, and back together. Okay, very lovely. Ooh, I think we're going for a fucking record here. Very lovely. Sorry for the over profanity. Oh my god, it got stuck. It got stuck. I'm freaking angry. This record is ruined. God damn it. Why? Why did I just jinx that one? Fuck, man. Also, I forgot to remove the mag. Something was clackety there. Alright, last one I forgot to remove the mag, so uh, let's try not to make that mistake again. Very lovely. Alright, let's do it. There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay. There you go. Alright, back in, back in. Alright, there you go. Very lovely. Oh wait, lumpy. And there, and there. Ah, oh, the spring could sometimes get stuck. Fucking shit! Oh, I hate the spring part. All right, there you go. Stop. Damn. One second. All right, it's getting stupid late. This might just have to be the last one. All right, let's go. There you go. There you go. Share. We going for a record? We going for a record? All right. All right. Back in. Back in. Come on. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. There you go, there you go, alright. Are we going? There you go. There you go, there you go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck! 24.78. That is a record. Shit, I kinda wanna go more one more time. Fuck it, let's go one more. Alright, last one. Whether I fuck it up or not, last one. Hopefully we beat that 24. Alright, let's go. Don't get fucking stuck, man. There you go. Removed and back in. Get. Fuck, it's stuck. It's a little flimsy shit. Alright, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Oh my god, I hate life. Okay, mix that one up. 28 seconds. Alright, it ain't the best, but you know. It's something. Alright, last one. No takesies, backsies. All right, back in. Ha! One second! One second! I'm so glad I did it one more time. 
by one fucking second. You know what? It matters. And I got stuck a few times, so we could break that record. Anyway, seriously, it's getting stupid late, and I gotta go to bed. But holy shit, at least I'm gonna sleep a little bit more comfortable knowing that I beat that fucking record. Very lovely. Yes, the M9 Beretta. Very awesome pistol. Uh, let me know what time you guys got or whatnot, you know? Give it a go. Try it with your pistol. Hell, don't have a real gun yet? Do it with your airsoft gun. It's all in the good. Anyways, y'all, my coffee high has ran out, and unfortunately, I have no more energy to spare to entertain you guys. But with that being said, keep in mind, always know how to take your gun apart and uh, put it back together. Because at the end of the day, the ATF could be at your door, and they might just want to get you and get all your cool, fun toys. But if you're ready, you don't have to deal with that. Now, I'm just kidding, guys. Like, subscribe, much love, take care. But beware of tyrants. Keep your eyes peeled. Alright, I'm off because I'm going to puke.